Hey guys and gals, it's Jim here, and it's been about a week since I last posted some videos on uh, what's going on and all that. So um, uh, this is going to be uh, the uh, Academy uh, 1600 scale uh, uh, Enterprise aircraft carrier and all that. And um, during the week, I got done um, the other day. I masked off my uh, my hull, my boot line, and my uh, red hull, and everything masked off the entire. Uh, uh, flight deck and I got my uh, my gray color laid down. I basically went with a sky gray to me a sky gray and everything That's a pretty appropriate color for battleships and everything and also um, I got that all done uh, Before I got that done. I finished uh, all my little uh, Detail stuff, you know little detail parts all around the uh, complete the entire model and everything and um it's kind of starting to get hard to hard to maneuver and handle, so uh, I decided it was time to paint the hull, and I'll get all that done and all that. And um, in doing so, I broke off one of the rudders, the one right back there, uh, right in the foreground, and that I got that glued back on properly. Um, so I decided um, it's time to stop working on this before I do anything more. Pretty much all that's left is a flight deck, so that's why I decided I'm gonna. Um, and get the, the hull painted up so I'm gonna um, go ahead and I'm gonna make my wooden base for it I'm gonna make a regular wooden base kind of like a plaque looking kind of you know um, cut out the corners and stuff like that uh, do a regular stain stain color on it like a, a wood tone and all that and then um, I'm gonna get it mounted in my base it'll make it a lot easier to handle uh, maneuver around to do any um, any more masking I got planned for the um, flight deck markings and all that stuff. Um, there's some decals that did come with the kit, little markings for this and that around the uh, little uh, blast um, things that raise up when the jets are taken off. So, uh, But that's where I'm at with this one. Um, everything else as far as all those little lifeboat uh, barrels that are all along the sides, those will all get hand painted flat white. Um, I got my phalanx guns, the top little domes on those get painted white. Um, I didn't glue on the, um, the uh, barrels yet because they're very delicate and I don't want to take a chance of cracking them off, breaking them off or nothing like that. I uh, got the photo etching all the different areas that I wanted to put it in and all that. The railing, it's so tiny it's barely visible until you get really up close to it, but it's there. Um... Probably what I'll do on those catch fences, those catch nets that are around the uh, different uh, launch launch areas and stuff like that. I know when I did my Tamiya 700 scale Nimitz, I did the photo etch, so it looks more realistic. But um, they don't make photo etch uh, set for this uh, in this particular scale. And uh, one 700 scale would be very small compared to this one. It's, it's a big difference, about an eighth of an inch in uh, lengths and everything like that. So... Uh, I'll probably just uh, give those a wash to kind of make the detail pop because it is it's, it does have the texture detail on them. So I'll give those a little bit of a wash and make that pop, kind of make them look more uh, dimensional and stuff like that. But um, that's what I got pretty much going on is the rest of the uh, flight deck work, and that's going to be it. The uh, last thing I'll do is glue on the, um, the island structure and all that dog uh, is that's got a lot of small delicate parts and I don't want to bump that while I'm masking or painting and stuff so that'll get glued on last um I forgot to mention in my last video <clears throat> uh is when I did the out of box review as I mentioned this this did come uh, the front part from there forward is a separate piece um they had a it's a real big uh I mean it's, it, was, it wasn't a seam it was more like a big gap um, basically where the two parts fit together, you know, um, I did that. I used my, uh, uh, sprue goo, I call it. I melted, melted sprue and, uh, you know, a little, when I get to the bottom of a bottle of cement where it's hard to get the brush into it, I, uh, put some little bits of sprue in there and let it melt. This is a little bit kind of like, I think this, I call this one my, my medium one. Um, it does a nice job just like filling in with putty um <clears throat> sandable and everything once it's once it's done it's uh just as just like the rest of the kits styrene um so i got that done the seam on there and then there was uh there was four screws there was one here i believe there's one around this area somewhere um might be able to pick it up slightly yeah, right there you'll see 
the screws that came with this kit, there was four of them, even though the deck is glued down, there was four screws. Actually, the holes that the screws mounted into, um, they were bigger than the screws. They were really little tiny screws, like little tiny machine screws almost. Uh, they, they weren't serving no purpose, so I didn't even use them. <clears throat> what I did with my uh, melted sprue is I just filled in that hole and kind of made it, you know, where uh, everything's, you know, uh, soaked down into the uh, locating pins where the screws went into, then filled it uh, flush. I masked around the hole. That way, when I uh, piled them down, sanded them down, I didn't take none of the surface deal off. That's uh, This does have some little raised surface deal as far as, you know, for your painting and stuff like that. Then there's two more towards the back and everything. Um, those are hidden pretty good and stuff. You can see one kind of right there in the, in the center of the shot going, going out of that corner. Um, but they came in pretty decent. They're barely noticeable until you get real close to them. So I'm happy with that. Um, I did uh, go over, repaint my um, uh, <clears throat> um, what, it, what catapult uh, tracks on there. Um, I, I kind of weathered them up a little too dark so they weren't showing up that good. Once I get all the rest of the paintwork and the decals on here that came with the kit, I'll uh, go back over those, uh, weather them, tone them down quite a bit again. Um, but they should be a little bit lighter than what I had, according to the pictures I downloaded of the real, uh, real ship. So, but that's what's going on with the, uh, Enterprise for now. And, um, happy with the way it's coming out. The paint came out real good and stuff. So that's going to be it. I'm not going to do a spin around now because, uh, I don't want to break off another, um, rudder or something like that. The props I'll glue on, uh, last do have my anchors already glued down down on there i can go over those with a brush paint and gold and everything so but yeah she's coming along pretty nicely and stuff so that's where we're at with the enterprise <clears throat> and other, other than that during the week there's a lot of time consuming stuff i did uh the airplanes you had to glue on the uh tails the tail fins and all that the stabilizers so um i got those all uh, built up there's eight of these sprues and um it uh it takes a little time and everything so that was pretty much a whole day's work uh a good better part of a day gluing all the tail fins on these uh airplanes and stuff um i i was watching another video um and that uh, on a to me out of box review other than being a smaller scale than uh the 350 to me kit this sprue is exactly identical to what comes in a Tamiya kit, other than the airplanes that come with the larger scales. You glue on the landing gear and stuff, where these are those uh, goofy molded on pegs and stuff. But for this scale and everything, they're actually not that bad. They don't look as bad as they do in, uh, in the video and stuff. It seems to enhance the stuff a little bit. I mean, they're not, um, they're not uh, detailed the way I would like them, but um, they're going to be good enough to use just for a display and stuff. So um once i get the uh the ship finished i'll paint these up i'll do the decals on these that'll be the last part of this build so um it'll be some time before i get to that anyway so but anyway that's what's going on i'm going to work on the base this week for this one and all that and then i can get going on uh having a little bit more uh secure uh way of working on it than um setting it on something and take a chance of breaking something off again so um, till the next time, thanks for following. Um, thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thanks for the great comments you guys have been leaving me. Uh, thanks for hitting the like button. And we'll talk to you real soon. Everybody stay safe out there and all that. Um, you keep warm. I know in the Midwest and East Coast is getting slammed with snow. Man, we've been pretty fortunate this year. But um, anyway, till the next time. Um, we'll talk to you soon with another update on this, uh, probably just gonna go like week to week and stuff, you know, and, um, do a little bit, I'm working on both models at the same time, you know, back and forth while one's drying or, or, um, <clears throat> you know, waiting for, uh, other stuff, I'm working on the Missouri too, so, I'm kind of getting both of them done alongside one another, so, okay, we'll talk to you soon, take care, bye.